Today we're going to learn how to solve exponential equations, and there are three steps that we can take. First is you have to isolate the exponential term to one side of the equation. Then we use the power rule to remove the variable as an exponent, and then we solve for the variable. So let's see what we're talking about here. So here's a, a problem. And the problem says, Solve for x in each given equation. Our first one is a, 10 to the x equals 33. So we have to solve for an exponent. And what we need to learn is that in order to solve for an expert, exponent, logs are very useful. So uh, using the power rule, uh, well, before we use the power rule, what we are allowed to do since it's an equation uh, is find the log of both sides. So log of 10 to the x is equal to log of 33. Remember, equ in equations, as long as you do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, it is legitimate. So this is perfectly legitimate. Say log of 10 to the x is equal to log of 33. Now, using our power rule, we have learned that the left side could be rewritten as x, the log of 10. And the right side is still the log of 33. And now, since we want to solve for x, we simply divide both sides by the log of 10. And the log of 10 on this side cancels. And we get x is equal to the log of 33 divided by the log of 10. And using our calculator, we find that this is equal to 1.52. Now, one thing you might have noticed that you should know what the log of 10 is. The log of 10 is 1 um, because the log base 10, remember it's base 10 here, it's a common log, is equal to 1 because... Ten to the first is equal to ten. So that's just something to note. But uh, that's uh, what makes the power rule very effective. So that it's very simple to solve these kinds of problems. Let's try another one with the power rule. This one says two to the x is equal to seventy-two. Once again, we can find the log of both sides. So the log of two to the x is equal to the log of seventy-two. Using the power rule, we get x, the log of 2, is equal to the log of 72. And now solving for x, we divide both sides by the log of 2. And we these two log, base 2s cancel out. And then we use our calculator to calculate the log of 72 divided by the log of 2, which is equal to 6.17. And we have our answer. OK, let's do one more problem. Notice this one looks a little bit more complicated. But if we are approach it carefully, it shouldn't be too bad. What we really want to do is isolate this 10 to the 2x on one side of the equation. So it, this whole thing becomes just a very simple exponential function, equation. So the first thing to do is subtract 1 from both sides. And we get 4 times 10 to the 2x is equal to 20. Now we have a 4 uh, that we want to get rid of. So we divide by 4. The 4s on the left side cancel out. We get 10 to the 2x power is equal to 5. And then using our power rule, we can find the log of both sides, the log of 10 to the 2x is equal to the log of 5. Let's move this up a little bit. And now using our power rule, we get 2x, the log of 10 is equal to the log of 5. 
And once again, we want to get x alone, so we want to divide by the log of 10. And the right side will divide by the log of 10. And now these log of 10s cancel out. And we get 2x is equal to the log of 5 divided by the log of 10. Now, we know what the log of 10 is, and we know that that is 1. So this is the same thing as the log of 5 over 1, which we all know is log of 5. And now if we divide both sides by 2, so we have 2x equals the log of 5. We divide by 2. We divide by 2. Finally, we get x is equal to the log of 5 divided by, the by 2, which gives us an answer of 0.35, and that is our answer. And so just to review one more time, the steps for solving exponential equations, isolate the exponential term to one side of the equation. Don't forget to do that. Use the power rule to remove the variable as an exponent. It's a very simple way of solving these types of problems. And finally, solve for the variable. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you again next time.